In other words, may, may God, who's been patient with you, who has worked to comfort you, may that spirit fall on you so that you'll be like that with your brothers and sisters. Believe me, all of us need patience. Ain't none of us where we need to be. And a whole bunch of us ain't where we think they ought to be. But we got to remember, we got to reach folk where they're at. And some folk, they just don't get it the first time. Some folk, you got, just got to keep training over and over and over and over. And we just can't say, gee whiz, we didn't help you five times. You ain't figured it out yet. They might need ten times to figure it out. We need to be patient. Now, now please understand, I'm not saying we supposed to be indulging folks' junk. But we got to be patient with people. You see, you, 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 you know where this unity comes in? When we decide that we want to follow somebody other than Jesus. And when that happens, then we fall into conflict. When we start thinking, well, I, 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 I think we ought to do this. Or I think we'll, there's only one vision in the house. God's vision. Please understand, you know, and, 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 and I want to be clear about this. I, I know that I, I grew up in a situation where people thought that God gave the vision to the preacher and whatever the preacher say, that's the law. And we're going to do what the preacher says. But then the question comes up, well, what about if the preacher's wrong? We're we going to go to this uncomfortable zone here. Well, first of all. If you ain't talking to the Lord, how you know whether he's wrong or not? If you talking to the Lord and the man of God talking to the Lord, and if God is telling you that's my man that I put there, and, and if God has established him, then when he brings the word of God and says, thus saith the Lord, it ought to bear witness in your spirit. At the same token, as the man of God, when I bring what God has put on my heart, I'm trusting that God had already talked to some of y'all in your prayer life, so when I bring it, it won't sound like something totally foreign. It ought to be something like, you know, the Lord put that in my heart. If, 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 if somebody come before you and say, God say we ought to do thus and such, everybody in there shouldn't be looking and saying, I don't know about that. Somebody in there ought to know. Somebody in there should have heard it. Somebody in there ought to be able to bear witness. See, where, where, where we fall down, we get caught up in personality. And then we end up with mess because when we get caught up in personality, we get different visions of how it ought to be. And if you get more than one vision, the Greek prefix for uh, uh, multiple is die. You end up with division. We should strive for unity. Whatever our culture, however we express it, what ultimately matters is that we're following the same person, Jesus Christ. In fact, notice what the word says, be like-minded. That you may with one mind and one mouth glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We ought to be on the same page. We ought to be thinking the same way. Please understand, I'm not saying that you're supposed to suppress your personality. I'm not saying you're supposed to suppress your experiences. I'm not saying that you're supposed to forget all that stuff you didn't learn through the school of hard knocks. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying, we bring all that to the table and we submit it all to Jesus Christ and we go where he tells us to go. We do not live to please ourselves. We should strive for unity. See, if, 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 if we, we think that we glorify God when we sing, and, and, and we ought to, but, but Paul also says that when you follow Jesus and I follow Jesus, there is a unity between us that brings glory and honor to God. Uh, the prophet said, can two men walk together lest they be agreed? If we ain't in agreement, you walking one way, I'm walking the other way, that's not unity. We do not live to please ourselves. We should strive for unity. Number three, we should accept one another. 
Now, 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 I know this, 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 this is this, this is one that that that's, that some folks uh, will, will get hung up on. Let, let's say what the, let's see what the word says. Verse seven. Therefore, receive one another, just as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Wait a minute now. Now, uh, uh, if, if I'm going to receive somebody as Christ received me, just we, we, we have to first of all go back to how did Jesus accept you? You ain't always been what you are. I mean, every, everybody didn't grow up singing in the church choir. Some folks took some detours. They, they may have been trained up, but got grown and decided to walk in some other paths. But at some place, some point, somewhere in the course of your journey, you came face to face with the Lord and you realized that you had to make some changes. Somewhere, somehow, he caught you at your very worst where you had to look at yourself and realize that I need Jesus in my life. At some point, you had to make a choice, a decision that I'm not going on the path that I once was, but I'm going going on the path that the Lord will have me to go. Now all of us have that in common. I don't care when you gave your life to Christ, all of us in here made a conscious decision that I'm going to follow Jesus Christ. Whether you were 5 or 55, you made a decision. We do not have the luxury to sit back and judge what journey somebody took to get to that decision. What are you talking about, preacher? We don't have the luxury to sit back and say, I remember when. I remember that Negro used to drink more liquor than the law allowed. 